Nothing happens. Can I fix him? Nothing happens. Can I fix this? Nothing happens. Can I fix that? Nothing happens. Can I fix Spock? Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing. Nothing. Whoa! What? Well, now, I think we know why the Alassi pirates were so interested in finding out where Mud was getting these. What the heck was that? It is useless to blow up their weapons of some kind. Apparently. Okay. Better stop using that before I make a hole in the freaking ship. Um. Weren't I supposed to able to be combining things in the inventory? Sometimes you wonder if Spock will ever show emotion. He has already. We've seen it. McCoy is his usual crusty old self. As always. Lieutenant Buchard seems to have limitless energy. It makes you feel old just watching him. You're not that old there, Jim boy. Well, then again, maybe we can use the orb in this room. Well, makes sense, because there's... Dota he Dota stuff. Orbs. Here. So maybe we can use it somewhere here. Nothing happens. Not there. You download major portions of the alien library onto the yellow spheroid. Nothing happens. So now that we have downloaded it, what can we do to it? Seems that he's going to be just in the way. There is nothing at the moment for me to do there. There is nothing at the moment. Spock, see if you can outflank him. That's what I needed to do. He did the Vulcan pinch. That's all. all yours now, Dr. McCoy. That's all we needed to do. Really? Do the Vulcan neck pinch. The volatile chemicals have evaporated over the time the derelict hung in space. I need to refill the capsule dispenser for the bed to activate and effect a cure on our friend Harry here. I certainly see nothing there calling. It would be interesting to analyze them. Do they pose any threat to us, Doc? None seems like. The volatile chemicals have evaporated over the time the derelict hung in space. I need to refill the capsule dispenser for the bed to activate and... Okay... There is nothing at the moment. Spock, do your trick. I fail to see the logic. Jim, these look like the capsules we might use in a hypo. I wouldn't recommend experimenting with them, though. Alien physiology or not, you can never be sure what unusual chemicals will do to the human body. But I was trying to use Spock. Why did you speak, McCoy? <laughs> These don't make any sense. I click with some other person and the other person does something. It would be interesting to analyze. Do they put none seem the volatile chemicals of a va I certainly see nothing. Okay. Yeah, I did something. But now I can't do anything. So I need to refill those somehow? How do I do that? I don't get it. Again. Uh. I mean, there's something we can do here. I don't know. Nothing hap. Nothing hap. We have all this stuff that we can use. We have this in our inventory. Why? I. 
a green capsule apparently for medical use with an unknown alien physiology. So that's what you went to pick up, Bones, is it? So maybe now we can use it on uh, the dispenser system here? Maybe. Maybe, baby, baby, baby. Nothing happens. We use it on him. Nothing happens. Do I use it on McCoy? Nothing happens. Do we use it on here? I have no idea what's happening. The capsules slide into the machinery on the bed exactly as they're designed to. I'm telling the program, our physiology is not the same as the alien's physiology. Don't want it to try to cure us of being human. That would be too much to hope for, would it not, Doctor? Particularly when we're talking about Harry Mudd. Exactly. I really would want to cure... I would really like to cure him! For whatever illness he might be suffering from. Mainly some madness. So now can you cure him? Okay, Harry, you should start to feel better in a few minutes. Just lie there quietly until you feel like moving. What about his neck? You should check his neck. Make sure that it's broken in many places. Oh, give me something for this headache, Doc. A herd of Hamadi tree elephants landed behind my eyeballs and did a mating dance. I really don't want to think about Hamali tree elephants mating. I don't think it would be a beautiful sight. Arcord Fenton Mud. Dr. McCoy, who is. So, can I talk to the man now? Nope. So, what are we supposed to do now? Hmm? We may have cured Harry Mud. We're still stuck in the ship. How do I use that hot dog or dang 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 for anything here? Now we we downloaded. Why, Captain, I see you got this machine to work. I tried to get it up and running for the longest time. Of course, when we cure him, he is out to do his normal business. We should have tied him to the bed with plenty of rope. Or whatever. Help yourself, Harry. Knowledge is for everyone. Get away from that this instant, Harry, or I'll shoot you where you stand. <laughs> That's definitely what I would like to say, but I don't think it's the right thing to say. Help yourself, Harry. Knowledge is for Get away from that this instant, oh. Harry, or I'll shoot you where you stand. Two choices. Help yourself, Harry. Knowledge is for everyone. The Starfleet way. Get away from that this instant, Harry, or I'll shoot you where you stand. Or our way. It's a tough decision. I mean, taking the right decision, which is the first decision, I'm sure of it. We are we get to the 100% completion of the mission, getting the most points. But then again, our decision of uh, threatening him would be the wise decision uh, without getting the top points of the mission but it's so satisfying I'll take the satisfying conclusion here whatever you say captain oops <sighs> I'm sure both of those decisions would have led to that conclusion anyway, because it's Harry. He just totally destroyed the computer. Mud, do you know what you just did? That knowledge was priceless, and you've just destroyed it forever. Not really, Doc, because we got the uh, bank downloaded into the small the the dig dang the dongo dongo thing. Spheroid, if you don't remember. So we are we are safe. I wonder what he's gonna say. 
Kirk, look what you made me do. You and your clumsy Starfleets. I really, I really hate the way he talks. But don't you realize what you've done? That knowledge was irreplaceable. You just burned down the galactic equivalent of the Library of Alexandria. Yeah. Millions of lives might have been saved by the knowledge that you destroyed. Now see here, Dr. McCoy. Don't blame me if Kirk's bellowing causes me to be a teeny bit clumsy. I'm sure that even if we had said that, hey, you go for it, you still would have been clumsy. Teeny bit clumsy, Mud? You're a disgrace to the entire human race. How dare you, Kirk? I have half a mind to sue you for defamation of character. <laughs> Spock just raises an eyebrow. <laughs> Typical Spock. Captain, I, I think Mr. Mud looks like he's getting out of control. Oh, crap, it's still affecting him. Kirk, get this muscle-bound clod away from me! I'm allergic to violence! At ease, Lieutenant. He's not worth it. <laughs> Though he was just threatening him. Good on ya, Lieutenant. Good on ya. Uh... Harry Mudd hopes he can make it back to his ship and get away in one piece. Ah, uh, he hopes. I hope that we have missed one Elasi ship and then we let Mud go and that Elasi pirates go after Mud, and we somehow miss uh, his communications of distress beacons and all that. Mm -hmm. It would be satisfying. And besides, you guys did say that I have just saved in the game. Die, Harry Mud! That's a phaser, not a flashlight, Jim. Damn it. Can I stun him at least? Violence will not solve our current situation, sir. Let me shoot him! Please! Well, maybe I can fix this. Nothing happens. Fine. Oi, Gewalt! Oi, vey! Oi, indeed! So... Now that that's done... Um... What are we supposed to do? Communications now? Maybe the Enterprise is close enough so we can get out of here? At least I hope so. Communications. Thanks to the lot. Communications. The Enterprise is out of range for this equipment. Communications. Shit. View screen. Done. View screen. Communications. Done. I need to have the view screen open because we're not pretty much seeing anything. Maybe we can do something with the weapon system there, Spike? This is the secondary sensors. Navigation. Or something? Engineer. Done. Engineer. The engine pods. Sensors. The Enterprise is in combat. Sensors. Navigation. The computer report. Sensors. Definitely Done. dead in space. I can't fly it, I can't do anything with the ship. And Harry's gone, and I I kinda know where he is. Hello, Harry. He's not in here? Where is he? Oh, don't tell me that he's in the freaking cockpit now. Can I, 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 thank you. No, he's not in here. So he's in the beginning area then. <laughs> in space, no one can hear you crap. In space, no one can hear you fart. Or burp. Or die. Yep, he is here. Back to the old drawing board. There's something. Kirk, my friend! When have I ever given you there was the time Perhaps. don't push your Why do I have the feeling that I'm about to have a bad day? 
Kirk, now that we're together... It was a rhetorical question, Harry. Yeah, I'm sure you know what rhetorical means. If you don't, you're as dumb as you look. But then again, I'm sure that he doesn't understand what rhetorical means. What am I supposed to do now? The whole sphere is destroyed. I have an idea. I have an idea on what to do. Oh, that's McCoy. There's Spock. Use this machine to destroy the Elasi ships. The device has been unloaded, Captain. That's, like, that's not exactly what I wanted you to do. I fail to see the logic. A weapons delivery system. It appears to be... Can you load it back? I fail to see... Unique, Captain. I believe these are self... Power boost! Evident... The technical... The machinery... Unique, Captain. Pa Evident... The... Hmm... This is much too heavy to lift. Can I use that? There's nothing at the moment for me to... Can I use this? There's nothing at the moment. This? There's nothing at... That? There's nothing at the moment. This? There's nothing at... There's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing in the moment that does not... I thought I had the perfect idea here of using this machine to shoot that power booster into space and destroy the Elasi ships. But for some reason it's not working anymore. Or unless I was clicking the wrong pixel, as always. The device has finished loading, Captain. I believe, Captain, that this weapon must be hooked up to the main weapon's battery. However, I've already examined the weapon's console. Yeah. And the main weapon's battery on this ship was completely destroyed in the action, which made her a derelict. That's not a good thing. Mr. Scott would have to go over this thoroughly, but I would recommend we try to take this weapon with us to the Enterprise. I don't think we should tinker with technology we don't understand, Spock, and I'm surprised you'd suggest such a thing. That's not a good answer. I agree that we should take it aboard the Enterprise. That's a good answer. I'll try to raise the ship. Kirk to Enterprise. Kirk to Enterprise. I don't think we should... I agree that we should take it aboard the Enterprise. Which one? Two I'll or three? To raise the ship. Kirk to Enterprise. 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 Somebody should take that away from the uh, audio and make a stupid remix of it. Dubstep. EMD, techno, something stupid. I agree that we should take it aboard the Enterprise. I do agree on it, though. We should take it. But uh, the hailing shouldn't work because I do remember Spock saying to us a million times that the Enterprise is out of range. But I'm still going to try I'll try it. to raise the ship. Kirk to Enterprise. Kirk to Enterprise. Let's do it. We could almost hear her. A weapons delivery system. A weapons delivery. I fail to see the. I believe, Captain. However, Mr. Scott would. Ha I don't think we should. I agree that we should take. I'll try to raise the ship. Kirk to Enterprise. Hmm. Well, if that doesn't work, let's just try to go and use the communications again. Maybe now it works. Mm. Unless we really do need to say no to Spock. That we shouldn't use alien technology. Because we don't know how it works. I don't know. I'm just going through all the options. Thanks to the library com communications. Scotty, report. So now it works. The 
Arashi pirates have been driven off, Captain. We have damage and injuries among the crew. We just arrived back here a few minutes ago, and we've been trying to raise you on the communicators. We tried to do that, too. The local star seems to be acting up. Will there be a problem with the transporter? I want you to beam up the landing party, and I also want you to lock onto and beam aboard an alien mechanism we came across. We can do it, Captain, no problem. At least right now, but the situation is only going to get worse. Are you ready to beam over now? No, we want to look around some more. We'll call you on this channel when we're ready. Yes, bring us home, Mr. Scott. No, I need to have a word with Harry Mudd before we go. No, we want to look... No, I need to have a word with Harry Mudd before we go. Actually, I do want to have a word with Harry Mudd. Captain Kirk, I was hoping to see you. I'm leaving soon and wanted to say thanks for the escort. Ta-ta! And I hope we never have to cross paths again, Captain. You have no idea how much I hope for that, too. Don't rush off, Harry. There's still a few things we need to discuss. In such a hurry? And Stella said she was dropping everything to meet you here. Don't rush off, Harry. There's still a few things we need to discuss. You destroyed the only known records of a lost race. That's a punishable offense. You were selling high technology weapons to terrorists and known criminals. We're pretty much arresting him. Tell me why I shouldn't arrest you on the spot just on general principles. I think you do, don't even need to hear his argument. Arrest his ass. He's a criminal. Because I am going to turn over a selection of samples to the Corniforus Life Sciences University. Well, if he's gonna do that and we make sure that he does that, then he can go. For free? Uh, of course. One of everything I've found here. Good man. Five of each. <laughs> Captain! Two. This is not, a, not negotiable. Ne ne negotiation, but... You can't argue with this. Five. Remember, I could confiscate your entire stock as illegal goods. You uh -huh. might get it back through the courts in a few years. Uh-huh. You drive a hard bargain, Captain. It's a deal. It's a deal! You have no idea what a great bargain it is, Mud. <laughs> you get nothing and we get five. I understand. No problem. And you, Captain. Bring us home, Mr. Scott. Mission is over, and we get horrible points for being a douchebag. We have read your report on the problems yes. at Harapan and evaluate your performance at 100%. Yes! You and your crew received four commendation points. Yes! Two missions in a row with 100%, baby! Woohoo! Awesome. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Feels good. Feels good. Yeah. A perfect mission, Jim. You are a model for all Starfleet. Thank you. Thank you, Admiral. Thank you. I wired in that alien contraption to the torpedo system. It should boost the ship's firepower, Captain. Good. We need that because we suck at fights. Thank you, Mr. Scott. I only wish you could wire Harry Mudd to a photon torpedo. Yes, please do that so I can blow him up. Just shoot him into that neutron star. While you were away, Captain, I made some travel arrangements that I thought you would approve of. Oh, uh, do tell, Uhura. Travel arrangements? I think you'll be happy to know that I've arranged for Stella Mudd to meet her long-lost husband on Starbase 7, sir. <laughs> you nasty woman. <laughs> we love you. Approved, Lieutenant. Take us out of here, Mr. Sulu. We should get a more, one more accommodation point for her making Stella to meet with Harry. I mean, seriously. That... Harry's wife... Oh boy, Harry's in trouble. And off we go into space to the next mission.